All right, gentlemen, C3 in the books here in California. Jake, what did you think first off? How did you think the event went? I thought it went amazing. I mean, I knew the vision. When I was talking with Cliff for months about this and I could feel the, his energy and what he was already doing, and I saw what he was doing through the social media and stuff that he was putting out, I was like, oh, this is brilliant. This is a brilliant idea. And obviously Cliff is, He's, he's down for Georgia. He's trying to get Georgia blasted out. He's trying to get Georgia seen. He's trying to, you know, work on little Georgia's, you know, how he's thinking of it, you know. I got to get my kids seen. I got to get my environment seen. And I've always been thinking that. I, I've been thinking that since day one about here. And I'm hearing like a kindred spirit in that same sense of like, we got to get our kids in front of the best eyes and the best opportunities possible. And so the dude, like, he made it out of thin air right there in Georgia at first. And then, you know, Iowa and New Jersey and this and that. And I'm sitting there going, why does California not have something like this? Like, you got to be kidding me. We, this is the state of Dave Schultz. This is the state of, you know, I mean, this is an amazing state. that We have produced tons and tons of amazing, amazing names in the panorama of wrestling. And we don't have a combine like this. Like, it just didn't make any sense to me. And so I kind of was, hey, man, let's... Let's do something like this out there. He's like, really? Okay. All right. Well, all right. And then we just kind of started tiptoeing to put it together and making some phone calls and this and that. And man, what we just experienced here, like for me, it was, a, it was such a gift. You know, it was such a gift seeing Clovis, you know, working with a Clovis West dude, you know, or, you know, guys from all those, the hotbed of Central California where they're just smashing each other all the time. And now they're drilling with each other and helping each other up off the mat. And, okay, now you get your five in and this and that, whatever. And it was just awesome. And all the different dads that I know and the coaches that I know, like not sitting apart, like sitting together, hanging out, watching the kids and just having a good time. I mean, I could go on and on. Obviously, you can tell. But I'm just <laughs> vibing off of what, what, what we just were able to be a part of. Cliff, so. did you and Dreamy uh, Pete Yates ever uh, envision this? <laughs> becoming what it has become and it's coast to coast now um, did you and dreamy Pete Yates envision that um, I don't want to say no because I just I, I'm kind of a big thinker um, I, I don't I don't know I just do I just do I, m my dad was just a worker and I just I don't I don't worry about uh, growing up watching him I don't I don't worry about kind of what 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 might not happen is we just we just made it happen i came out here two weeks ago and <laughs> registration wasn't going great we're planning this thing and we're kind of looking at each other like you know are we gonna pull the plug on this thing yeah. and i'm just yes. and i just told jake i said we're gonna make it happen you know and and like you said we just hustled a little bit more and it ended up being it ended up being great so um short answer i just i, I try not to think about it you know and we make it happen and and Dude, this was a this was a true testament to the wrestling community just yes. coming together and kind of what I told the kids at the end of camp was just you know I want those guys being like us. We were out there wrestling and, and Munoz is wrestling and we got Brett Sanchez and guys coming in that that, that are that brought ten kids in a van and slept wherever yeah. you know to get here and they just they did it because they love it you know and they're on the mat and they're wrestling. It was just it was just a good experience you know. So I think I think. Once we do that one place and people see it and they kind of experience it through, through social media and, and, and things like that, then they want to be a part of it. And I think people kind of looked over the fence at what we were doing and then they came and I, I, think, we got, I think we got a snowball effect going. So. Is California better for it? Is Georgia better for it? Is Iowa better for it? Is New Jersey going to be better for it? Has it made the places actually better places? Has it helped kids? Um, I, absolutely. I think it gives them a platform. I mean, there, there's people that, that don't come for for political or internal or personal reasons and you know that's an opportunity they miss but uh it's an opportunity nonetheless and there were some kids and, and i look at it this way if there was you know, it was probably 68 70 kids here if if two kids get an opportunity that never would have gotten an opportunity we're doing our job you know, the, the, the event serves a purpose you know so that's that's kind of the way i look at it and that's you know that's why jake's so fired up because i i don't know some of these kids that <laughs> almost hate each other because they're from different schools or wear a different singlet. So like ignorance was bliss for me. I'm just <laughs> expecting everybody to show up and work and he's like looking and going, oh my God. Yes. And I just, I'm just like, oh, it's supposed to be this way, right? So like <laughs> ignorance was bliss for me and kind of Pete in this sense that we just, we do what we always do. We just grind and promote and people show up and if they don't, they don't. Yeah. You think this is something we'll see in the future? I mean, this state's huge. 
there could be a Bay Area one. Absolutely. I mean, easily. The metro area is Absolutely. over 10 million people up there. Metro area over down here is over 15 million people. Fresno. They're so, Fresno. It's Fresno. I mean, is that, is that kicking around in that, that, that little ball of head of yours? Stupid question. No one's ever said that to me. I love it. Um, that, that's something that me and Jake sit down and, you know, Daniel McCune has, you know, sh expressed a huge interest to in doing one, you know, Fremont. And, 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 and that's something that, that I want to be cautious of, you know, and I, I make sure I spend time with the coaches and say, hey, what do you want to see? Where do you want to see it? How can we make it better? Give me some feedback. And, and I, I, I Without the coaches, we don't have the kids. Without the kids, we don't have the coaches. And and I got to rely on guys like him and 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 Mark and Daniel and 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 Tara Pelly and, and and say, hey, you know, what should we do? Is this too much? Is this too close? And uh, and and we'll figure it out. You know, we'll figure it out. But I guarantee you one thing: we ain't scared. <laughs> we ain't scared to pull the trigger on something. So yeah, in in a, in, in, in a nutshell, yeah, we'll, we're going to do more, but we got to make sure it's right. Well, and also, you know. <laughs> There's great kids all through the state. We got some farm kids out in the middle of nowhere that'll come and wrestle you. <laughs> Just give them a chance. I mean, I, I wrestled some today. I was like, okay, you're a sophomore in high school? This kid, uh, good or whatever. Clovis, sophomore, pff, kid's a monster. I think it's the only dude that took you down. Huh? Only dude that took you down. I don't think I've been taken down in like five years. Seriously, good took you down. I couldn't believe it. Reyes couldn't. Yeah. Reyes could you, 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 you I think Reyes could. He just did it. <laughs> but yeah, that was a sophomore kid. He took me down. He he took me down, everybody. Dang it. <laughs> no, I didn't get taken down. So, <laughs> last thing, the star power that walked in the room. <sighs> Bubba Jenkins, Mark Munoz. And we got guys. Rafael Dos Santos. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it was it was ridiculous. The Fernando guys. Serrato is probably the biggest superstar that's <laughs> by all day. It's crazy in though. His own mind. Well, uh, but no, that's crazy, well, right? But, like, how about this? And so, you know, I think one of the coaches fell ill or something like that. And then Mark was just here with his son. And I was like, look, Mark, look, NCAA champion, Oklahoma State. World like, silver medalist. World silver medalist, UFC monster. This guy, he gets paid thousands of dollars to just go be at a signing. You know what I'm saying? And he's just here with this kid. And I'm like, hey, we're kind of in a pinch. You, what do you think? Can you show a couple things? Of course. His face was like... You're asking me? Let's go. Let's do it, you know? And, like, he just walks up to the circle, you know? What do you guys want to learn? Some kid's like, throws. He's like, okay. Boom. Let me pull out this little Step lesson. Yep. And then he's like, but it was a slick one. It was like a single. Yeah. And the kid bites and sack. Yeah. And it was a whole series. He just pulled it out of his little wrestling encyclopedia. I'm on Okie State Overload. You guys know that, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm like, Okie State with, I mean, yeah, nuts. Overdose. Awesome. You guys are going to have to go get me, like, to the my stomach pumped on it or something. I don't know, man. Okay. But, but, but looking at it, looking at it, uh, we're probably going to see more of this. What needs to improve? I, just, just, I know that's how your mind works. Yeah, I mean, improvement's great, but just just convincing people that it's it's it, it has value. You know, just just it, I, I want everybody to benefit from it. Not everybody's going to, but convincing the coaches and convincing the kid the kids that there is value. And I think that's we just keep creating an experience. We keep we keep guys like you involved that are going to cover it. We continue to. I mean, we had a, a rolling live stream the entire time. You know, of just live stream with with five different cameras. So like, just continue to let people see the experience, and then they they stick their toe in the water, and then they then they commit fully. Well, hang on a second. I want to. Here's what needs to improve. I want to say this because you don't know this part. Here's what needs to improve, California. Here's what needs to improve, coaches. Uh, I understand being competitive. I understand there might be some water under the bridge. Oh, Calvary Chapel, we recruit this school, recruit blah 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 blah. Right now, today. There was none of that. It was all about getting these kids seen by Jamil Kelly and, and uh, Kevin Ward. and uh, I mean, that was great. And by the way, man, I got to see Jamil teach. He is an amazing teacher, an amazing communicator. Uh, meeting Kevin Ward for the first time. I'm, I like that guy. I'm a fan. You know, and all these uh, Stutzman, Buffalo. I mean, sweet people, in my opinion, coaching for the right reasons. I got to hang out with them. It wasn't like a quick, like... Hey, I'm at the NCAAs. Here's some of my kids. Here, I want you to call them. Da da da. This and that. And it's like a quick thing. I got to hang out, eat with them, have a tri-tip sandwich or whatever, and just listen to him. Listen to this coach because I'm a coach, 
And I mean, some of these kids, I've been in their life since they're six. And it's like, I'm handing off this precious like diamond that we've been working on. His mind, his confidence, his lifestyle, his self-respect, his, his safety. Like his safety in his mind. Where the whole thing from six up until 18 is like, okay, we've been sculpting this kid practice per practice. And now I'm handing him off to some other man for five years. And that man is going to be responsible for what my son gets himself into in five years. And I got to hang out with them, talk with them, and hear their heart kind of on a really mellow thing, like behind the scenes. And that was another thing that was huge about this. So, you know, I mean, I could go on and on. This was an amazing event, and I was really uh, fortunate that Cliff decided to bring it here. And uh, what we need to do, California, is we need to work together for the benefit of the kids. We need to set aside any water under the bridge. We need to set aside any wrong predispositions and we need to think about the kids we need to think about the opportunities and we need to vet these coaches as we hang out with them and all that and then we need to be able to make educated decisions of how we influence our kids and to what colleges to go to um, also you know those colleges that got a chance to meet these kids and be with them man I, i'm a fan of stanford coaching staff now i'm a fan of, of <laughs> Uh, Army, uh, you know, West Point. I'm a fan of this guy now. Now I'm like, Stutzman, I never thought of sending a kid out to Buffalo. I want a kid to go have the experience of living in upstate New York and being coached by a man like Stutzman. And now I know there's another place that's like, okay, my kid will be safe there. He'll be loved there. He'll be taken care of there. And, and now I know a handful more coaches that I'm going to keep in contact with and I'm going to be sculpting and shaping a kid to be a custom fit for that style coach or this style coach or whatever. So. California, we need to get it together. We need to quit working against each other. We got to work together so that our kids can have the best opportunities possible. That's what we need to do.